Hi, it's Ed Kaminsky. We're checking in here in Manhattan Beach, California at Strand Hill Properties, the Kaminsky Real Estate Group. And today we are sitting with Eton, who is, I'm gonna call you a mold expert. I mean, I know we, we've all heard of all kinds of different kinds of mold, and, including moldy cheese, right? Right. So, um, what is your definition of mold? First of all, mold is a fungi. Mold is everywhere. And in nature, the purpose of mold is to decompose of dead organic matter. Trees and leaves and stuff like that. Otherwise, we'll be walking around lots of debris of all those things. But uh, we find it as a problem when it comes to a home because uh, that's another environment when we want to have that sort of fungi growing. What, what actually causes mold to grow, in, in this case, in the house? Right. So mold, in order to grow, needs three things. It needs air. It needs water or moisture, and it needs food. And the food can be any organic surface like wood or paper, or even dust. So the food or the wood, the stud is there. Is the paper right. or the wood. Or the wood. The moisture, that's where we find the problem. Once we have moisture starting happening, right. then you have mold growth. All mold bad or just some mold? Well, I would say this. There's no good mold. Some types are, are worse than others. Like everybody here about this toxic black mold. Right. Um, because that type of mold can produce what's called mycotoxins. I, I tell people all the time, there's no type of mold you can say, I want to live with that, except for in the cheese, maybe. You brought up black mold. Is all black mold exactly the same? And Because I, I know that, that we've dealt with this before as agents. We go out and get tests made, and they still look foreign to me many times, right. but I know they say this type of mold is very bad. What's the name of that mold? That's really the name of that mold is Stachybatris. Stachybatris. Yeah, that's the dangerous so mold. All black mold Stachybatris. No. No. Okay. The color of the mold really depends on the food that the mold gets to eat. There's 300,000 different types of molds. Um, I'm going to take you to your favorite part because when I met you, 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 you taught me about this and I found it very interesting, which is this chart and, and what mold's made up of. So right. just give, me, give us a quick explanation of this philosophy. Right. So, Understanding, like I said, the mold spore is microscopic. The so mold. this is one piece of mold? This is one spore, yeah. Okay. Sort of the layers of it. So the protein is the allergen, that's what causes the reaction. Then it's surrounded by uh, uh, fatty lipids, which surrounds by carbohydrates. That's the structure. So this protein is what causes people to get sick? Right. The center of the right. mold spore? Right. Okay. If we spray it with some bleach, the stuff still flies around. Perfect. Bleach is a misconception. Everybody uses bleach for mold, which is not the right thing to do because bleach is 99% water. And I just I illustrated here that when the mold spore starts growing, it's growing inside the material, it's growing roots. So the bleach could potentially kill the surface mold. So this is mold. Right, that's a spore. This is a piece of drywall Correct. or wood. Right. And these are roots. It starts growing, growing inside. But well, actually, in the reaction, all the water is going to go into the material, feeding the mold. So then it comes back a few weeks later and use bleach again, you make it worse. Important to understand, dead mold and live mold are equally dangerous because the fact that it's dead and not growing, that protein is still here. You're still breathing the same. I always give that example. If you're allergic to um, animal protein, like cow, if you're going to have a steak, you're still going to get a reaction. Okay. Dead or alive doesn't matter. 